how many types of routers do we have in OSPF? We can categorize them based on multiple criteria, but let's categorize them based on their placement, based on the topology. So we have mainly four types. One is called as internal router, backbone router, area border router, and AS boundary router. So let's see what are the differences between these four types. This is a general OSPF network. So here we have a router. Let's say this router number three. It has two ports, two interfaces, one on the left side, one on the right side. Both of these ports, both of these interfaces are within same area. This area is central area like we discussed in the area types. This is called backbone area. So a router which has all interfaces within the same area, whether backbone or any other area, this is called as internal router. Similarly, router number one, it also has all the interfaces within the same area. This is also internal router. Similarly, router five has one port which is within the same area. This is also called as internal router. Router six is also internal. Router seven is also internal. So this is called as internal router. <clears throat> the second type is called as backbone router. Backbone. Simply backbone router, all the routers which belong to the backbone area, this area, they are called as backbone router. Very simple. The third type is called area border router or boundary router, you can say. A router which has one interface or one port in one area and the other one in at least another area. So minimum two areas. This type of router is called as area border router because it is on the border of two areas from the name we can see between area 0, area 1 or any two areas. This is called as area border router. For example, router number 2 here. The fourth type is called as ASBR. We can see that this whole is OSPF domain. We can see. And this is outside OSPF. This is, we can say, non-OSPF or outside the OSPF. So this router actually, router number four, this router has one port, one interface within OSPF and one interface outside OSPF, outside the world, outside the autonomous system, AS, autonomous system. This type of router is called as autonomous system, boundary router or border router. So ABR between two areas of OSPF and ASPR between OSPF and an outside domain, just like a capital, just like a C port, like an international port, which connects the whole country outside to the international borders, to the outside country. While this one we can say between the provinces or between two areas of the same country of same OSPF domain. We can also see from here, let's see another example, another topology, our base topology for all OSPF labs. So here we can see a router, router number three, you can answer in the comments. Which type of router is this one? Router number three. Please write your answer in the comments below. Let me answer other routers. So router number one, it has one interface which is within the same area, area number one. This is called as IR. This will be IR. Similarly, this will also be IR. This router has one port here, one port here. This is called area border on the border of two areas, area zero and area one. <clears throat> Similarly, router number 10, one port in one area, one port in another area. This is like area 3 and area 0. This is also area border router. This is also ABR. This is IR, one interface within the same interface, within the same area. So, what type of area doesn't matter? Stop, totally stop. This we will discuss later on. What is it? So, these are called as internal routers. Similarly, R5 will be IR. This one will be ABR. This one connects the whole OSPF to the outside is called as ASPR and this type of router is non-OSPF so no type of OSPF. The answer which I asked you the question R3 is also IR because it has all the ports within same area. This is also a backbone router and internal router. Similarly in our practical labs which we have seen in this lecture in this video so these two routers this is Cisco packet tracer they both belong to the same area this is also in area 0 this is also in area 0 so which type of router is this definitely IR and this is also internal router. Similarly in our lab 2 we have three routers 
this router will be internal router this will be internal router because it has two ports within same area and this router will be area border router so we have seen multiple examples and you guys can configure this lab yourself we have usually these kind of practical labs in which we give you a clear task and we give you the topology and task to perform so we have this single area lab and we have this multi area lab you guys can try this lab yourself so that you can practice them so here in this lab we have this topology you are given a task to perform the ospf tasks configuration all of this all of this and then finally the verification we are network works academy and we offer courses on cisco ccna cyber security ethical hacking python programming linux all of that so if you want to study in detail you can also take one of our course which is very low cost and these are the contents we study about ospf eigrp layer 2 switching everything in detail from scratch so if you guys are interested simply search for network works and you will be able to find our courses so this was all about the ospf and its area types i hope you guys are clear about the area types now if you have any questions you can write in the comments below